Air quality alerts remain in effect across the region as the smoke from wildfires in Canada continues to hang over us. For much of the day yesterday, the Lehigh Valley ranked worst in the nation for air quality. Thankfully, though, conditions should improve today. Blakely McHugh's live for us in Allentown with the very latest. Blakely, good morning. Yeah, good morning, you guys. So yesterday, like Matt said, they had issued code red alerts shortly after we got off air in the morning. All day long, they were in code red. It is now in a code orange. But if you were watching us yesterday morning and also this morning, you may notice a slight difference. Again, like Matt said, it's pretty similar as it was yesterday. I do think, though, there's a little bit more smoke and haze in the area. As we look off into the distance, I actually think we can see less than we did yesterday. Really, the main message here, the main takeaway, Stay inside as much as possible today. We went to Trexler Memorial Park in Allentown last night. Normally, the parking lot would be full of people, right? Jogging, sitting on the benches, playing sports. But instead, it was like a ghost town. We talked with a woman who traveled from Colorado to visit family here. She and her father say they have experienced being in areas with poor air quality, and this is much worse than they've ever felt. I'm kind of used to bad air, especially in the summer, but I haven't seen anything quite like this. My eyes kind of are tearing up here. I have a little bit of a headache, and those aren't the kind of things I necessarily just notice at home. I've traveled a bit around the world, but I've never seen anything like this, you know. Yeah, I, I spent some time in India uh, part of the year, and, you know, it's much more densely populated, but there too, the air doesn't get as bad as this. we mentioned and as Matt also said the air quality should improve maybe a little bit today uh, again we're still looking at the next couple of days for that officials are still recommending that you limit your time outside um, if you do have to be outside make sure you're wearing a mask the proper mask to wear would be the one that I'm wearing at right now it's an N95 mask the cloth mask that you probably have used and you probably have laying around that you wore during the pandemic those aren't going to help much because the smoke the particles are actually going to get trapped inside. So this is the kind you need in order to filter through all of those smoke particles and really make sure you're protecting yourself from this wildfire smoke because this is dangerous. It can have impacts on your health. And so you do want to take that uh, into some serious consideration. For now, live in Allentown, Blakely McHugh, 69 News.